What is up YouTube, how's everyone doing today? This is Everything is Tech here, and in this video, I have my review of the HP Touchpad, and overall, I'm really, you know, excited that HP has finally uh, joined the Tablet Wars, because now, many people like us can actually buy different types of tablets, and we can actually go away from just Android and iOS and go with, like, Blackberry and WebOS and everything like that, so I'm really surprised that HP has finally stepped up their game, and got a tablet out on the consumer lineup for tablets so first thing that everyone should know about this tablet is that this does run web os which is the os found on the palm pre phone lineup and that is fantastic because it's really great to see a mobile phone operating system being integrated into tablet into the tablet and i think you know that os kind of suits the tablet really well so in this video i'm going to be talking about the os the pricing you know the, the overall design and how the tablet feels in your hands and should you actually buy the tablet and where this tablet stands among other tablets out in the market today. So sit back, relax, and I really hope you enjoy the video. So starting off with the specs, the first thing everyone should know about this tablet is that it does run the WebOS operating system mentioned earlier in the video. I think the operating system is pretty great and I'll get that in later on in the video. In addition, the actual tablet does have a 9.7 inch display, which I think the 9.7 inch display isn't that bad and I think it suits the tablet pretty well. Uh, in addition, this tablet also runs a 1.2 GHz Snapdragon dual core processor and also does come with 1 GB of RAM, which is really great for multitasking. In addition, the camera does also feature a 1.3 megapixel camera, and there's actually no camera in the back, there's only one camera in the front. And sadly, you can't actually take pictures with the camera. You cannot take pictures, and the only way you can actually use the camera is if you're in like Skype or like a video calling application. That's the only way you can actually use the camera, and no other way. Um, the screen resolution is 1024 by 768, and honestly, if you match the screen resolution to the iPad One and the actual HP Touchpad, um, you know the overall screen resolution and the overall picture that you see on the tablets really do come better on the iPad. But I can definitely say that the HP Touchpad's display isn't that bad for you know what it's worth, and um, overall the display of the HP Touchpad is pretty decent. So taking a look at the overall design of the HP tablet, it looks really nice, it's really solid and definitely packs the punch. On the top middle of the screen is the 1.3 inch megapixel camera and directly below it on the bezel on the bottom of the tablet is the home screen button. Take a look at the right side of the tablet is where you have the volume rocker, this is the increase and decrease volume button. And then taking a look at the left part of the device is where you have the speakers. And these speakers are actually Beats Audio so these are some really great and decent sound quality. Uh, that these speakers do provide. I definitely like the speakers because they can get really loud and they have some really clear uh, speakers. So that's always wonderful to have. Take a look at the top of the tablet is where you find in the middle the microphone. Then to the left you find the 3.5 millimeter audio input jack which allows you to plug in your usual headphones. And then all the way on the right is your home button or the on and off button or the wake from sleep button. And then finally in the bottom you have the USB and charger input. And then looking at the back you have the HP logo around the middle. And overall the back feels a lot like the iPhone 3GS for those who used it. You'll probably know how the HP touchpad feels as well. And the one thing I really don't like about the back is that it attracts a lot of fingerprints so you really have to constantly clean it. Which can actually be a disappointment but I don't mind it that much because I usually do take good care of my stuff. I usually do clean it every week, lead or two, every week or two. And then overall the design I really like for the HP Touchpad. It's a really great design and definitely packs a punch. As far as the overall operating system goes for the HP Touchpad, it does run the WebOS, which is actually found on the Palm Pre lineup. And overall I think the operating system is decent on the tablet. Nothing too great and nothing too bad. Uh, the tablet does perform really well in day-to-day -day tasks like checking your mail, browsing the web, everything like that. So to unlock the tablet, just go ahead and drag the little circle out of the small little circle and then you're on the home screen. On the home screen, you really can't do too much. Uh, you can't really add anything on the top uh, where that big empty space is. I don't think so you can. I don't think you can really. But then you have the dock in the kind of bottom and that's what I call it. And for those who are familiar with just the Mac OS or the iPad or the iPhone, you can just really drag pretty much some applications onto that small dock. In addition, you have that small arrow button on the right hand, which allows you to just access more of your apps, all of your apps rather, your downloads, your favorites, and your settings. And let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And that opens up pretty fast. And when it does open, we just go to youtube.com and go to my uh, you know, YouTube channel. And just before I do it, click the enter bar or the enter um, actual key. The typing experience on this is really uh, fun 
I should say, you know, it's really easy to type on this really quick, and the keyboard is really responsive, so that is always great. But at some times on in the web, you really will have problems with unresponsive actions, but you do have to click on a few things a couple times, maybe once in a while, so that's not too great. So depending on how far away you are from your internet, the web page will load up to um, however far you are kind of from your internet. And this is just to show you how well the flash does perform on the device. And I really don't have any problems with the flash. Flash, flash runs really smoothly. And the best thing I like about the HP tab is, you know, whenever you view a website, it actually does come up from the desktop view, not a tablet or mobile view. So that is always great to get the full experience for web browsing. Let's go ahead and exit that and open up the mail application. And then I'm just going to go ahead and close it up really quick. And this is how you kind of multitask with this device. If you just hit the card and make it just go up, if you just drag the card up, and that pretty much uh, just exit the exits the window, and that's pretty much multitasking with the tablet. You can do some really decent amount of multitasking with this because of the one gigabytes of RAM installed on this big board here. So if you go ahead and click the arrow button again, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick... Uh, in store for what is some of the apps you can actually get with the device you do have quick office you do have um, Adobe Reader you have YouTube Facebook applications and all the great stuff on this device so that is always fantastic to have one really great thing I like about the operating system is the just just type I guess that's like the search engine and you can kind of customize that if you go to the arrow and go to settings and go to just type and from just type it's pretty much on your home screen and you can kind of search Wikipedia, Twitter, CNN, Amazon, Facebook, GrooveShark, and all that stuff. And GrooveShark is something I've actually added because depending on what websites you go, you can actually customize the search to actually search those websites. And that is awesome. I really like that. For those who actually do use GrooveShark, you can use GrooveShark on this device really uh, smoothly. It works really fine. And overall, the operating system on this device, it's not bad. It definitely needs some work for to fix the lagginess and all that but as an operating system this works really well. Final thing I really want to quickly go over is the HP Catalog app which allows you to download your apps of course and this is like the marketplace or the app store on you know the iPad and the Android devices so the good and bad things about the app catalog is the good thing is that you have pretty much the standard day-to-day -day things that you would actually use on a tablet you have all that available on the app catalog you have some decent amount of games available you do have the angry bird series which is fantastic you have pandora facebook cnn and stuff like that and all that is fantastic because you really do use that a day-to-day -day basis as far as the overall hp catalog goes it does lack a lot of apps it only has about 5,000 apps which just put this back a little bit more behind than other devices out there as far as mobile tablet goes but as far as the overall hp catalog app goes it's not bad it has the basic apps and it's definitely a a uh, great deal for having an HP touchpad. Also, the battery life on the HP touchpad is pretty decent. Uh, you know, you're promised about nine hours of battery life with this. I usually do get about four or five hours of battery life while browsing the web, checking my mail, doing the day-to-day -day tasks that you really would do, as well as you know, watching a little bit of videos on it. And overall, it functions really well with the battery, and the battery life does last for quite a bit of time. So this does come in two models. This comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte models, and you cannot upgrade the memory, so you have to be kind of precise on what's one you actually go ahead with and finally you know my final words on this is that this is a decent tablet it's not the best tablet in the market but it's certainly not the worst I've seen worse tablets out there and this kind of does stand right in the middle of all the tablets if you're really not in too much into the Android and you don't want the iOS device iOS iPad or you don't want the Blackberry playbook this HP touchpad is definitely a good alternative to those tablets this definitely makes a good tablet and although the operating system is still a little bit laggy and it does need a little bit of work on I'll definitely am sure HP will fix these problems up really shortly. And overall, as a tablet, this is definitely going to be worth the money. And I'm really happy with the tablet in general. So thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day and take care. Peace out. And don't forget to like the video below and subscribe if this video helped you out. Peace out, guys.